Spring Branch kids and families, I'm Ruthie Wagline, and I'm so happy to be a part of this All the Fields series. Today, we are talking about the feeling of worry. It's important to, to remember that God is with us no matter how we feel. And today, as we think about worry, I want to ask you, have you ever felt worried? Everyone feels worried sometimes, even me. Adults and kids alike experience feeling worried. What are some things we worry about? Maybe right now we're worried about school starting this fall. What's it gonna be like? Is it gonna be online? Is it going to be homeschool? Or maybe you're starting a brand new school. Not knowing what's gonna happen can make us feel worried sometimes. Maybe we're worried about our health. In the middle of this pandemic, we might be scared. What if we get sick? Or maybe we know someone who is sick and we're worried about them getting better. Another thing we might feel worried about this time of year are storms. We can get a lot of storms in the summer here in Virginia Beach, and that can make us feel worried. The feeling of worry is different for all of us because we all feel worried about different things. But one thing that we can know for sure is that going to God's Word, the Bible, can help us when we feel worried. Today we're going to share a Bible story from Matthew 6, 5 through 16, where Jesus teaches us what to do when we feel worried. You see, Jesus had 12 close friends that he loved very much. One day, these friends were worried that they weren't smart enough to know how to pray or talk to God. Jesus didn't want anyone to feel like they couldn't talk to God, so he taught them how to pray. Let's hear what Jesus said. How to pray. In those days, there were some extra super holy people. At least, that's what they thought. And they were called Pharisees. Every day, they would stand out there in the middle of the street and pray out loud in big, extra super holy voices. They really weren't praying so much as just showing off. They used a lot of special words that were so clever, no one understood what they meant. People walking by would stop and stare, which might sound rude, except that's exactly what the extra super holy people wanted. They wanted everyone to say, Oh, look at them. They're so holy. God must love those people best. Now, you and I both know they were wrong. God doesn't just love holy people. But the people walking by weren't so sure. Perhaps you did have to be really clever or good or important for God to love you. Perhaps you had to know lots of difficult, clever words to speak to God. So one day, Jesus taught people how to pray. He said, when you pray, don't pray like those extra super holy people. They think if they say lots of words, God will hear them. But it's not because you're so clever or good or so important that God will listen to you. God listens to you because he loves you. Did you know that God is always listening to you? Did you know that God can hear the quietest whisper deep inside your heart? even before you've started to say it, because God knows exactly what you need even before you ask him, Jesus told them. You see, God just can't wait to give you all that you need, so you don't need to use long words or special words. You don't have to use a special voice. You just have to talk. So when you pray, pray in your normal voice, just like when you're talking to someone you love very much, like this. Hello, Daddy. We want to know you and be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything in the world right again and in our hearts too. Do what is best, just like you do in heaven. And please do it down here too. Please give us everything we need today and forgive us for doing wrong, for hurting you. Forgive us just as we forgive other people when they hurt us. Rescue us. We need you. We don't want to keep running away and hiding from you. Keep us safe from our enemies. You're strong, God. You can do whatever you want. You are in charge. Now and forever and for always. We think you're great. Amen. Yes, we do. You see, Jesus was showing people that God would always love them with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. 
so they didn't need to hide anymore or be afraid or ashamed. They could stop running away from God. They could run to him instead, as a little child runs into her daddy's arms. I love that Jesus taught his friends how to pray. Do you know that Jesus wants us to talk to God too? He does. We can always go to God with our worries because God cares about us and he is always with us. Jesus' friend Peter said it this way, cast all your anxieties or worries on God because he cares for you. So just remember this week, when you feel worried, you can choose to talk to God. God loves you so much and wants to hear from you. I encourage you and your family to find some time to pray together this week. God loves to help us and he loves to hear our prayers. Let's pray to him together right now. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us no matter how we feel. And thank you that we can go to you when we are worried because you are so much bigger than our fears. Amen. Now parents, don't forget to share this Lord's Prayer activity book with your kids today so you can learn together about praying to God. Now join us next week when my friend Kevin talks to us about how God can help us when we feel angry. Stay tuned for some fun worship songs. See you next time. Loves me, I'll shout.